Hello, and welcome to the second video of Java for Grasshoppers. My name is Michael Novello, and I am your instructor. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to a free software package called the Java Development Kit, or JDK for short. The JDK, or Java Development Kit, is a package of software that contains all the tools you need in order to develop applications with Java. The JDK is free and is supported by most common platforms. You can download the JDK from Oracle's website. If you recall from my previous tutorial, Oracle is the name of the company that owns Java. In a moment, I'll take you to their website to show you exactly what to download. Let's take just a few seconds first to explain what's in the JDK that we'll be downloading. The Java Development Kit includes the Java Compiler, the Java Archiving Tool, the Java Debugging Tool, and several other command line tools that are useful when developing Java applications. It also includes a complete version of the Java Runtime Environment, or JRE. The Java Runtime Environment is already installed on most people's computers and includes the Java Virtual Machine that I discussed in my previous tutorial. Now let's head over to Oracle's website so we can begin the download. Okay, so here we are in the web browser. Now go ahead and head on over to Oracle's website, which is oracle.com. Hover your mouse over the link here that says Downloads so that we can click on Java for Developers. Follow the link here with the Java logo. This is the Downloads page for the JDK. As of the making of this video, the latest, latest version is JDK version 7, update 25. Go ahead and scroll down. You'll see the first table here with the list of links to download. That is the table that you want to use for downloading because it is the one with the links to the latest version of the JDK. Now up here near the top go ahead and click on where it says accept license agreement. Then you are able to go down here and click on the download link for the installation wizard that is appropriate for your platform. I have already downloaded and installed this on my machine so I won't be doing it again. For yourself go ahead and just install it. Once you've downloaded it it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Just use all of the default instructions and remember the directory path that you install it to because we will need that here in a bit. So go ahead and pause the video and come back when you have finished the installation. Now, assuming that you have installed the JDK on your machine, the next step is to navigate to the folder that you installed it to, which on my machine is under Program Files, Java. Now, here are a few folders. You'll look for the one with the JDK prefix. JDK 170 is for JDK version 7, which is the latest JDK installed on my machine, so I'll open that one. Open the bin folder. Then go up here to the navigation bar, click on that, make a copy of the path to the bin directory, go down to your start menu, click on right click on computer, open properties, open advanced system settings, then on the advanced tab you should have a button down here called environment variables, click on that. One of the environment variables that you need to have set up on your machine is called path. I have it already set up on mine and as you can see it is pointing to the bin directory. You will want to set up a path variable and also point it to the bin directory that we just copied the path to. So create a new variable, call it path, and then paste in the path to the bin directory click OK and then you should have something like this. The path, the path environment variable tells the operating system where to look for the Java command line tools. So it's important that you have that set up so that when you try to run one of the command line tools Windows knows where to look for it. Click OK a couple of times. Now go to your command prompt and 
Let me go ahead and clear this off the screen here so you can see what it looks like. Once you are in your command prompt, it shouldn't matter which folder you are currently in. Go ahead and type in Java C, which is the name of the Java compiler application. Press enter and you should see something like this on your screen. If you set up the environment variable properly, then Windows knows to look within the bin directory for that Java C application, the Java C compiler. So it finds it and runs it and then it prints out something like this. And that's all there is to installing the JDK. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or visit my website at javaforgrasshoppers.com. Until next time, thanks for tuning in.